joy, give glory to God. Lift up your hearts and sing. Let all creation tell of His name. Praise Him forevermore. Blessed are you, God of our fathers. Glory and praise forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear people, this Mass is offered. These are the intentions of offered during this week. For the soul of Joseph Cosmo Rodericks, Perodiana Sequera, Mary Mascarenas, Joseph Mendes, Victor Fernandez, Rock Nazareth, Flora George, Romy DeMello is a a birthday. Telma Narona, Joe Neil Dikuna, Remediana Fernandez, Carl Pereira, Gary James, Alex De Souza, Luisa Leonard Fernandez, Santana Menezes, Anthony Xavier, Delphine De Souza, Bonifacio, and Novia Colasso, Mary Sebastiana Nazareth. Calvina Gomes, Ingrid Dicuna, Veronica De Costa, first death anniversary, Francis Amaro De Costa, Calvina Gomes, Dino Crasto, Daigo Raposa, Trini Lopez, offered by Claire De Mello, Zane Pereira, offered by Ashwin Gaikwad, Julieta H. Fernandez, Dominic Fernandez, Rock Dias, Salvador Dias, and Joe Pereira. This is Thanksgiving in honor of St. Anthony. And Thanksgiving for the good health of Joe's Paul and family and for Safira. We pray for these intentions and for all your intentions, my dear people. Let us humbly call to mind our sins, ask God to pardon us as we prepare to celebrate this Holy Eucharist. Together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Oh, you, we love. 
Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Isaiah's Pravadya Cha Pustaka Vele Vatsa Shevna Rathmala Cha Karbarya सबेस्कोर अशे सांगता तुझे झुके वेलो हाव तुका निकला वेता तुझ्या जाग्या वेलो हाव तुका सोकला उडोंक वेता आणि त्याच दिसा मोजे चाकरा एल्या किमा हिलकियाच्या पुता आपयतलो तुझे राजकी वस्त ताका घालतलो तुझो पोतो ताका बांधतलो आणि तुझी पदवी ताच्या आधीन पोतलो जेरुझलेम रावतल्यांचो आणि जुडाच्या गोराण्याचो तो बापूय जातलो ताच्या भुजार दाविदाच्या गोराण्याची चावी घालतलो तो उघडीत झाल्यार कोणूच धांवचो ना तो धावपीत झाल्यार कोणूच उगडचो ना खोदी कशी हाव ताका सुरक्षित जाग्यार लायतलो आपल्या बापायच्या गोराण्यांक तो एक मोहिमेचे सिंहासन आसतलो देवाचे उतर हे Your love, O Lord, is eternal. Discard not the work of your hands. Kindly listen to the tune. Your love, O Lord, is eternal. Discard not the work of your hands. All together. Your love, O Lord,
before the angels, I will bless you. I will adore before your holy temple. Response. Your love, O Lord, is eternal. Discard not the work of your hands. I thank you for your faithfulness and love, which excels all we ever knew of you. On the day I called you and said, you increased the strength of my soul. Response. Your love, oh Lord, is eternal. Discard not the works of your hands. The Lord is high, yet he looks on the lowly. knows from afar. Your love, O oh Lord, is eternal. Discard not the works of your hands. Response. Your love, O oh Lord, is eternal. Discard not the works of your hands. his methods. Who could ever know the mind of the Lord? Who could ever be his counsellor? Who could ever give him anything or lend him anything? All that exists comes from him. All is by him and for him. To him be glory forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's all stand for the gospel. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. God in Christ was reconciling the world to Himself, and He was entrusted to us the news that they are reconciled. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he put this question to his disciples. Who do people say the Son of Man is? And they said, some say he is John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. But you, he said, who do you say I am? Then Simon Peter spoke up, You are the Christ, he said, the Son of the living God. Jesus replied, Simon, son of Jonah, You are a happy man, because it was not flesh and blood that revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. So I now say to you, You are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the underworld can never hold out against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be considered bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth 
shall be considered loose in habit. Then he gave the disciples strict orders not to tell anyone that he was the Christ. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear people, Tim was an elderly gentleman married for many years. His wife, Margaret, was an Alzheimer's patient. She was suffering from Alzheimer's disease and because he could not manage to look after her, he put her into a nursing home where she would be taken care of by nurses and doctors. But he would drive every day to the nursing home to pay her a visit and spend time with her. Every day, whenever he entered that room where she was lying down on the sick bed, she would ask him, who are you? And Tim would tell her that he is her husband. They were married for 52 years. And he would speak to her about the children and grandchildren and what was happening in the outside world. And she would listen to him. And after an hour or so, he would give her a hug and say goodbye and go back home. This he did every day. Tim's friends would, and relatives would say, why are you doing this? There's no need, you know, she does not recognize you. She does not remember anything. And every day you are repeating the same thing to her. She does not know who you are. And Tim said, yes, she does not know who I am, but I know who I am. And that is what he would tell them every time they would remind him or try to discourage him from going to the hospital, to that hospital, to that uh, nursing home to visit his wife. He was truly committed to his wife. He truly loved her. Until the end of her life, he continued to go to the nursing home and spend time holding her hand and talking to her lovingly. My dear brothers and sisters, all of us have friends and relatives, family members. During this lockdown, lockdown time, we are spending a lot of quantity time in our families with our loved ones. Before the lockdown, some would go to school, some would go to college, they would go to work and meet only on, in the evenings or on Sundays or public holidays. But now the quantity of time that families are spending together is quite a lot and there could be misunderstandings because there's no real privacy in the house since all are under one roof. There could be criticism, etc. We are known by our words and our actions. And if we do good to one another, then we experience that love and acceptance. So it's very important that we encourage one another in these difficult times. It is a challenging time for everybody, the young and the old, to understand, to accommodate, to adjust because of the circumstances we are living in. And so people know us, they know, those who are very close to us know our good and bad deeds, our strengths and weaknesses. And they may appreciate us for the good we do or we, some who know our weaknesses, they still love us and encourage us. And that is what we need in order to experience joy and happiness in life. Today's first reading taken from the book of Elijah, Elijah, we are told that Shebna who was a steward, steward to the king, Hezekiah, he was a very worldly person and uh, he was not faithful to God. He was suggesting to the king to take the help of Egypt to fight against Assyria who was threatening them. 
on the other hand elijah was telling the king ezekiel no need to take the help of egypt a pagan kingdom trust in god god will help you and so there was a conflict between shebna and elijah my dear brothers and sisters therefore god tells uh, gives a word to israel saying that shebna will be replaced and in his place elikim will be in charge of israel he will be the steward he will be the caretaker of god's kingdom of the kingdom of juda and uh, he is a man like david who has who loves god and is faithful to god my dear people in today's gospel also we have jesus wanting to know what people think about him he has done so many signs and wonders in front of the people fed the multitude healed the sick raised the dead to life and he wants to know from his apostles who do people say he is and then the apostles say some say that you are elijah or jeremiah or john the baptist come back to life to complete his mission or one of the prophets and then jesus asks them who do you say i am and peter on behalf of the apostles says you are the christ the son of the living god and jesus immediately immediately tells him saint peter it's not flesh and blood who has revealed this to you but my heavenly father who has revealed this to you my dear brothers and sisters if we want to know more about jesus we want to deepen our faith in god it is through the knowledge that we get maybe through our catechism teachers our parents sunday school our religion class in school we build our knowledge of who jesus is and what god our heavenly god our heavenly father has done for us by sending his son jesus into the world to save us and we are able to appreciate god's plan of salvation it is this knowledge about god that we receive from others or from books that helps us in our faith journey but there's on the other hand there's another very important key that we need to know god and that is divine revelation god reveals himself to us just as jesus says the heavenly father revealed this mystery to you tells peter all of us experience god's presence in our life god speaks to us in various ways maybe we experience him as a good shepherd protecting us as a provider as a healer and so all of us have experienced god some way or the other his blessings experience jesus's presence in our lives that helps us to understand jesus better my dear brothers and sisters maybe we need to ask ourselves if we stand in the presence of jesus who will jesus say i am who will jesus say you are we are all children of god son and brothers and sisters and children of god but do we truly live as christians we call ourselves christians we need to ask ourselves am i really a christ bearer am i christ like in my actions in my words jesus to his example teaches us to be kind to be generous to be unbiased to be faithful to god to be prayerful do we do these things let us pray my dear brothers and sisters that we be faithful to god and not worldly like shebna who trust more on his own fame and power and influence rather than on god that is what jesus invites us to do he just as uh, the key was given from to elikem by the lord jesus gives the keys of the kingdom to peter the pharisees and the sadducees were the people who guided the people in the faith 
but in a way god rejected them because they refused to accept his son jesus and the apostles are given saint peter is given this responsibility as the head of the church to be a guide to the people to lead them to the father we are so fortunate to be in the catholic church where we are guided with regard to our faith and uh, with regard to morals and the dogmas of the church they help us in our faith journey to grow in our relationship with god to grow in our relationship as a community let's thank god for this gift of faith and we pray that we spread the light the love the life of jesus in the world today beginning in our own families by the good we do let us be a light to others it said it's better to light a candle than to curse the darkness around us so whatever good we can do let us make a difference in our homes in our neighborhood in our small christian communities by giving a helping hand to the parish to the to your community and surely we can spread the love of jesus everywhere the light of the gospel will spread the love of god will also reach the ends of the earth amen and we stand as we profess our christian faith we will say the nicene creed i believe in one god the father almighty maker of heaven and earth of all things visible and invisible i believe in one lord jesus christ the only begotten son of god born of the father before all ages light from god light from light true god from true god begotten not made consubstantial with the father through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the holy spirit was incarnate of the virgin mary and became man for our sake he was crucified under pontius pilate he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the father He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead. and the life of the world to come amen you are christ the son of the living god to the intercession of saint peter let us confidently bring our prayers to the lord our response loving father listen to your children's children praying together loving, loving father, father listen to your children praying pray. we pray for pope francis cardinal laws were gracious and all the clergy the religious the seminarians that god may bless all of them with good health of body mind and spirit so they may be witnesses of christ in the world for this we pray to the lord loving, loving lord, father lord, listen to your lord, children lord. praying we pray for all the members of the church that we may grow in our encounter with christ and profess him faithfully by following the gospel values let us pray to the lord Loving Father, listen to your children pray. We pray for all the people in the world that guided by the Spirit, we may choose wisely a just and peaceful government at the time of elections. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Loving, Loving Father, Father, listen, listen to your children, children pray. We pray for all those who have chosen the vocation of marriage, that they may build their foundation on Jesus and always respond to his call to service. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving, Loving Father, Father, listen to your children, children pray. We pray for all those baptized, that we may exercise the threefold ministry received at baptism in serving Christ, his community, and others. We pray to the Lord. Loving, Loving Father, Father, listen to your children praying. Kindly pray. pray for your personal and local needs. We pray for all those who celebrate their birthdays, weddings and anniversaries today and during this week. Our response, Loving, Loving Father, Father, listen to your children praying. praying. Heavenly Father, you revealed your divine Son that we may come to know, love and serve him. Hear our prayers that like St. Peter and the Apostles, we may boldly proclaim Jesus to the whole world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, dear brethren, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Heavenly Father. The praise and glory of His name for our good, the good of all His Holy Church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people of adoption by adoption, to the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your Church. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin to the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the Church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Oh, Lord. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of, fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have saved. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Oswald, Gracious, our Bishop, his auxiliaries, and all the clergy and the religious everywhere. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle, Saint Francis Xavier, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, what in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity 
in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. And with your Let us wish one another the peace, joy and love of Jesus. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O divine guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion.
John chapter 6 verse 54 Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life says the Lord and I will raise him, him up on the last day. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Can you be seated? Announcements for the week. Today is the 21st Sunday in ordinary time. The novenas in preparation for the feast of the Nativity of Our Lady will begin from Sunday, 30th August. The parish will be releasing a short novena video each morning prepared by our small Christian communities, the Sunday school, youth, and the prayer group. The video will include a creative and prayerful presentation on the theme of today the Novena Prayer in the sessions, etc. We urge you to kindly use these daily videos for your personal prayer and reflection during these days. The Sunday School will be celebrating Sunday 30th August as Bible Adventure Sunday. The children will be having a special session with Bible quizzes, games and activities. The parish will be having an online Teacher's Day celebration on the 5th of September at 6 p.m for all active and retired teachers and Sunday school candidates. Details will be shared soon by the SCC community coordinators. The Zabian Youth Movement had a session on St. Paul, St. John Paul II's Theology of the Body this Saturday, August 22nd. The winners of the Monsoon Moods Independence Day competition are as follows. <coughs> King, Mikhail Keravala, Juliet D'Souza and Aroysius D'Souza and for impressions. Anton de Souza, Marilyn de Souza, and Alvin de Souza. We congratulate the winners. We are looking for candidates for the post for our sacristan for our church. Those interested may contact the parish priest, Father Leonard Maroma. We request your financial contributions towards the upkeep of the parish and the community fund. You could contribute either by cash or check to any of the church fathers or make an NEFT bank transfer. Please contact your SCC coordinators of the parish fathers for details on how to make the contribution. God bless you. Sign Father Leonard Corona, Parish Priest. Let's pray for the relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be not afraid, speak my word. You are not alone, I am with them. Go tell the world, repent the The time is right and the kingdom is here. Go into the world, tell them I'm alive. Go into the street.
Thank you.